earlier this year, when Brave Davis saw the low morale of the staff of the Water and Sewage Corporation, he called on the Prime Minister to remove Adrian Gibson as its executive chairman by saying, the time has come for that child to be moved from that post. Adrian tried to spin the word child and said, this shows what the leadership of the PLB thinks of young people. But his explanation didn't make sense since the PLP has two senators, Joe Beth and Clay, who are the same age or younger than Adrian. The word child can only refer to Adrian's inexperience. But here's the thing, not only does Brave think that Adrian's inexperience, but his own leader, Dr. Minnis, also thinks that he's inexperienced. Adrian's inexperience was a factor why he wasn't chosen to be a cabinet minister and was also one reason why he wasn't appointed as a parliamentary secretary to be groomed for higher office, even though Minnis chose 23-year-old James and 22-year-old Travis over Adrian. So Dr. Minnis overlooked Adrian at least for 22 different positions after the election. Adrian then showed his political inexperience when he publicly disrespected the Prime Minister's decision and told the Nassau Guardian on May 19, 2017, I feel somewhat disappointed. A week later, the late Tennyson Wells rebuked Adrian when he told the same newspaper, I saw Adrian on television suggesting that he thought he should have been a minister and I thought it was inappropriate. So Dr. Minnis' first public criticism didn't come from the PLP or from the media, but it came from within. It came from Adrian. It also suggests that Adrian isn't a team player and that he wants to promote himself rather than the interest of his constituents. Now today, Adrian is scheduled to speak after Brave and will continue to audition for higher office by being the designated attack dog against Brave. But Brave should continue to ignore Adrian and focus on the big picture since the Constitution only recognizes two MPs who are leaders of their parties. Minnis as Prime Minister and Brave as Opposition Leader. The Prime Minister has to consult with the Opposition Leader on certain constitutional matters of state. So if Dr. Minnis doesn't regard Adrian as important enough to sit at the Cabinet table and take advice from him, nor does the Constitution require Adrian to be consulted when Minnis and Brave have to talk. Then why should Brave listen to Adrian? Like Ingram told Christie when referring to Bran, Renwood and Cassius, let them fight in their league down there to see which one of them is eligible for higher office. So Brave should tell Minnis the same thing let Adrian to continue to fight in his league down there to see whether Minnis ever regards Adrian as experienced enough to be a parliamentary secretary or serve in higher office.